welcome to Math with Nile. Today we're doing our five times tables. Hi Nile, and what are you going to use to help you work out the answers to the five times My tables? My fingers. Can you explain? So one finger equals five. Oh good. Okay, so can you start yeah. off by doing the first question? One times five, so one lot of five. Five, so mm -hmm. it equals five. So I'll get my answer and I'll put it on the board. Five. Okay, then two times five. So I'll get two fingers and five, ten. Very good, so you're counting up in five. So yeah. two lots of five, so two times five is ten. Yeah. Ten. And then three times five, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so just so that we don't get confused now, can we do how many fingers we're going to use to do three times five? Three fingers. Okay, and can you count up in fives on those three fingers, please? So five, put the three fingers up. Three. Good, and then count in fives. 5, 10, 15. Good. So the answer is? 15. Very good. So I'll get my answer, put it on the board. Okay, and for the other questions, can you make sure that you're counting up in fives so that the okay. viewers at home are not getting confused? 4 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. Very good. So you've used four fingers and you've counted up in fives. 4 times 5 equals 20. Okay, now we're doing 5 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 2, 5, 25. And then Five, so six times five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, forty. No, start again. Five, ten, fifteen, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Thirty, very good. So six times five equals thirty. 30. Okay. 7 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. No, you've gone no. too far. How many fingers do you need? 7, so 35. So can you do it again for us? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Very good, 35. Make sure you're paying attention to the number of fingers that you're using. 7 times 5 equals 35. 8 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 25, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40. And take your time when you're counting. Okay. Okay. 9 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 45, good. We need a lot of 5 for this and a lot of zeros. Ooh, that's an interesting one. We'll talk about that in a minute. I've, I've realised the pattern here. Have you? Yeah, look. Five zero five zero five zero five zero. It always ends in five or zero. Very good, and that's very very good observation. So when you multiply a number by five, the answer will always Wait. end in five or zero. And I was going to ask. If you ask, start at zero to five. I was going to ask you that question at the end of the lesson as well. So let's do the next one. Ten times five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50. 
So put 50 on the board. And let's just talk about that 10 times 5 for a minute. If we swapped it around, what would we have? 5 times 10. And we know that multiplication is commutative, so if you swap yeah. them around you'll get the same answer. So why don't you work out 5 times 10 on your fingers? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you're counting in 10s there. Very good. Yeah. So it's the same. 10 times 5 is the same as 5 times 10. That's just a little trick that can make yeah. multiplication easier sometimes. Okay. 11 times 5. What are you going to do for 11 times 5? I five? don't have 11 fingers, do I? So I'll have to use some counters. Okay, so put the counters up on the board and count the counters. How many counters are you going to use? 11. And one of the counters is going to be worth how much? 5. Okay, so count out your 11 counters first and count it so we can hear you. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Brilliant. So we have eleven counters. So what what did you say the value of one of the counters would be? Five. So we have eleven so lots of five. Now we can count in five. The only thing is now, can you stand to the side when you're counting so we can see? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. 55, very good. So, 55. Just enough fives to do it. Okay, brilliant. And how many counters did you say you had on the board? 11. And the next question, you're going to need how many? 12. So you're going to put one more. So 12 times 5. So count up in 5s again first. Let me just put the 0 there because we know it ends in 0 because of my pattern. Okay, that's fine. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Excellent. Told you it was going to end in the 0. Yes, that's very good. So you can actually... You can use your fingers, if you don't have counters, for yeah. example, and you know 10 times 5. Can you work out 10 times 5 on your fingers again? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So if you know 10 times 5 is 50, what would you do to work out 11 times 5 if you were starting? Add on 5. Add on 5. So 11 so 50, times 5. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Very good. So we're going to use that same idea. If 10 times 5 is 50, how can you work out what 9 times 5 is? Take away 5. Why? Why can we take away 5? Because 10 times 5, 9 is 1 less than 10, so okay. you have to take away... Five away. Yeah, so what would the answer be for 9 times 5 then if 10 times 5 is 50? It would be 45. It would be 45. Very good. So, what should we do now? Uh, quiz? Quiz time! Okay, let's see. You can use your fingers to help you. You can do anything. If you know it, you can say it. If you're not sure, you can check it on your fingers. Okay, 3 times 5. 15. Ooh. 1 times 5. 5. 6 times 5. 30. Very good, 30. 0 times 5. 0. 8 times 5. 40. <laughs> 40. Okay, 12 times 5. 60. Very good, Maya. You've done a brilliant job. Okay, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and if you didn't subscribe now, bye! Bye!